guys, welcome back to another Mission Impossible review. This one is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. This is the new movie um, that has been in cinemas and I have watched all Mission Impossible films, um, numbers 1 to 6, right through and now of course we're here watching number 7. I watched it in the cinema, you guys said I needed to watch it in the cinema and I'm glad I did, so thanks for the recommendation because I kind of was going to be lazy and just put it off. But I had a day off and I just thought why not, let's just go to the cinema and it was really good good actually there was actually quite a few people there for like a midweek day off um, and a film that's been out quite a while so um yeah what did I think well you guys know throughout my entire Mission Impossible journey um you know this has been an up and down roller coaster I guess in terms of things I like and things I dislike about the franchise. I think there's no denying like how good this franchise is and how well constructed it is. I think it's a fantastic piece of cinema and you know there's nothing taken away you know from from it you know it's it's really really good. It is a franchise that I have never seen and it's a franchise that I've kind of always steered away from um, but you know, I'm glad I've actually managed to see at least one of them now in the cinema and obviously part two coming in a couple of years time. Um, but part one of Dead Reckoning then was what you expected it to be. It, what, it did feel like a part one. The movie is directed by Christopher McQuarrie. Now, he has directed the previous two, Fallout and Rogue Nation. And now he's picking up the director's um, gauntlet for... Um, you know, Dead Reckoning Part 1. As I say, really, really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was fantastically executed, fantastically written, and of course we get some amazing stunts. You know, in the trailer we get Tom Cruise literally dri driving a motorbike off a cliff and then, you know, like, I guess, parachuting then um, after letting it go. And yeah, amazing take, amazing to watch things and then they become like, you know, you're actually watching it, you're thinking like, that's actually Tom Cruise, that's actually a real thing. Like most of the time it is a real person anyway, but for some reason when it's Tom Cruise, we're just shocked. Like Tom Cruise is just a trained stuntman just as much as any other stuntman that we don't know about, you know what I mean? So we're just as shocked, but I guess it's because Tom Cruise is like in the public eye and he's doing everything himself. He does the acting as well as the stunt work himself. Maybe that's what it is, but you know, it is pretty cool, I guess, nonetheless. Story-wise of this film then, where does this take us? Where does this take Ethan? Well, it's all about this key and it's all about this key that has two parts to it. One half of the key is with somebody else, the other half is with somebody else. There's a lot of fakes going around and it basically, you know, they basically try and figure out what this key actually does. They don't know what it does. We know at the beginning that it kind of like sets off some sort of like, you know, bomb or weapon type of thing based on a submarine that's at the beginning of the film. Um, You know, so they obviously try to figure it out because if the key gets in the wrong hands, it's one of those stories then, you know, the key goes the wrong place then you know it's, it's not good for the entirety of the world um yeah pretty decent uh, i'm not gonna lie really really decent um i think for me we definitely got some some nice additions cast wise into the story obviously we got um tom cruise and uh ving rames and simon Pegg. rebecca ferguson came back as well as ilsa vanessa kirby was back we had a lot of people come back for previous roles which i really enjoyed um, but we also had grace who was a new character played by Haley atwell which oh my god she looked fire like wow like I had literally that much so I had to text my mate after through the film I was like hey wow wow like she looks stunning and not just how she looked but she was fantastic in the role as well I really enjoyed her she basically played like this like pickpocketer she stole like the key initially so that's how like Ethan tracked her down I was like oh my god like the key's been stolen um, and it was actually her. She's doing the job for Vanessa Kirby's character, for the White Widow, and, um, you know, they basically then, you know, work alongside each other because Grace is kind of a fugitive and they get asked the question and the chance, the one chance to join them and have a normal-ish life. Um, as normal as you can be otherwise being in prison. So yeah, basically I loved her character. I loved the whole everything about that. It kind of just, you know, was just a good relationship. Like even on screen they had great partnership, I thought. Um, as well as uh, you know, Simon Pegg back as court, of course. He has been, I think, like the standout person for me in a lot of these films. Like very underrated in my opinion. And um, I don't think he gets the credit he deserves because he proves in these films he can play a really good role in a genre that people wouldn't have thought he would be good in many years ago. So so, um, so yeah, I think that just shows his scope of acting. So rating Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. I gave it a four star. Um, I think for me, I, I really enjoyed it. I think the thing I didn't like about it was it felt like a part one, which it is, but it didn't really feel like the entirety of the movie. It felt like half of a movie, which it is half of a story, but it also is very, very complex. 
if that makes sense, in that, in that aspect. It is a good film that you can just watch, you can just chill out, you can just, you know, let yourself go with, you can enjoy life, you can, you know, sit back and enjoy. Definitely amazing to see on the big screen. If you get the chance to, I would recommend you do that, as, as I was recommended to. But again, it's Mission Impossible. I think if you watch these films back to back, it's really difficult. Um, so for me, watching them back to back over the space of, what, two weeks has been quite challenging. I will say this is one of the better ones, and they definitely do get better as you go on. So Dead Reckoning for me, four star. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Let me know your thoughts down below. And of course, stay tuned for the next video where we'll have all the Mission Impossible movies ranked from worst to best. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.